I'm getting there. I'm getting there. What is up, people? Cool Spub Gaming here, and today. So the reason why I chose this area, for this video, is because I really like natural light. So these I'm wearing now are a few clothes that used to fit. They still fit, don't they? See, because I'm a big lad, and I always will be a big lad. But difference is, is uh, these are like really bag your me now. You see, I take this off and then this top, which is a large, used to fit me properly and it <laughs> it's hanging off me now. For once it's hanging off me. Which feels great. But it means I need to buy a new wardrobe, which isn't great. This top here is a medium. If you can see on the label there, it says medium. And I've had this t-shirt for years, but the thing is I've never worn it because it's never fit. But until now, you see, it fits. In fact, it's a little bit baggy. I remember the first time I tried this on, it was like really tight against my tits. Um, and my stomach, it was a bit tight. And the arms, I was like going, ah, ah, trying to make it more loose because it didn't fit. In fact, as of yesterday, I'm at the top end of 12 stone. And I want to talk to you about my weight. This is a serious thing for me because I've struggled with my weight for years. And let me tell you why I've struggled with my weight and how I've lost weight, but I'm also not finished losing weight. Back in high school, I started high school in year seven. I was 11 years old, 2010 we're going back to here. I wasn't that big. I was pretty slim actually. I was a pretty decent shape. But I went to a school by myself, whereas everyone else I knew went to another high school. I went to an all boys high school and I got bullied, not great. So after year seven, I went to a different high school starting year eight, which again, I was bullied. Not as anywhere near as bad as what happened in year seven. Year seven, there was physical, yet year eight onwards, it was only like name calling, you know, being picked on and stuff. But bullying is bullying, which also led me to go home and I had no friends, not really until year 10, year 11. And I used to just eat and I just put on weight. In fact, if I can find the photo, I'm gonna put a photo here. This is a photo from my yearbook. I don't know if you can really tell, I'm about five foot one, five foot two. I was a big, I was a big boy. <laughs> you can't, I don't know if you can tell, but I was. So I ended up growing out my hair, which yeah, I have an afro-ish anyway, but I ended up growing out my hair like really long and thick and it kept going really greasy. I was a big boy. Uh, when I, I started college, I was, I was big. I used to wear large jumpers, which I'd zip up and they'd be still a little tight on me. Uh, I did actually go into extra large very briefly, but I, you know, I luckily it was only just briefly. Because uh, my dad actually gave me some of his clothes. I remember I was a 38 inch waist. In fact, here are some trousers I wore once. These are a 40 inch waist. Pretty big, right? I wear a 32 with a belt now. And uh, in fact, I need to get a smaller belt. <laughs> so, look at that. That is a... That's pretty big. But I used to wear those. So yeah, I was big then. I was always told, lose weight, you gotta lose weight. You were a fat, yeah. I used to get them sent messages over YouTube. I was bullied because of my weight quite a lot over the internet. Ever since I was younger, I started uploading YouTube videos when I was like 12, 13. In fact, I started when I was like seven. But that's not the point. I'm talking about the ones where the comments actually got to me. 12, 13, 14, 15, then they got to me even more, you know, when I was in college. Um, I, was, I was big, you know, and which was annoying because I was friends with Curtis, you know, Curtis is my brother. Curtis is like eight, nine stone, he is like nothing to him, and then there's me, I'm the big one, and it wasn't great, and then there'd be situations where we'd go clubbing, and I'd just be big, and I'd have big hair, and I'd just grow up my hair because it was the only thing that I could really control, because I couldn't really control my weight. I'd try to lose weight quite a lot. I'd be like, okay, it's time to lose weight. But I always failed. Yeah, I never really got anywhere with losing weight unless it ended up being depression ridden and lying in my bed and for days and not eating. That was the only times I really lost weight. In fact, last year I posted a picture of me looking pretty good. But again, that was due to depression, uh, which isn't great. 
it's, sorry, it's just nice to see this top hanging off me a little bit. This is a medium. So I'm pretty happy with that. I never understood why I was lazy, why I could be wanting to do something and then I never did it. And it ended up me putting on a bit more weight again. So over Christmas and that, I put on a little bit more weight uh, because losing weight over November wasn't healthy. I didn't do it very healthily at all. Um, in fact, I weighed myself in December at Curtis's and I think I was about, I think I was like half a pound off 14 stone. Okay, that's a lot, right? Like I was a lot less than what I was because you know I'd be trying over the years and of course I, I grew a bit this and that, right? But it was still a lot, <laughs> you know. 14 stone, like just under 14 stone. And of yesterday, I am at the top end of 12 stone. So in what, I, just over a month, when I've at, like since I've been actually going for it, I've lost the stone of weight. Yeah, and I'm pretty happy with that. But the difference is with me losing weight and a normal person losing weight is I did it a bit differently. I'm not saying I lost weight in an unhealthy way. The issue is, is this. I have a foot here which is still monumentally broken and hurts all day every day. So doing exercise for me hurt a lot. And knowing that 80% of losing weight is diet, that's the one I've been focusing on. I work at a Chinese and in fact I uploaded a video last month of me working at Chinese and I got free Chinese food. Yeah, I haven't had Chinese since. <laughs> because I needed to lose weight. I wanted to lose weight and I'm still not done losing weight. I would like to drop maybe another half stone or a stone, which would be great. I've still got a bit of fat on my face and this and that. Yeah. So I lost weight with dieting and not exercise. Like, don't get me wrong, I did a little bit of exercise, you know, I'd walk as much as I could, but ultimately I do have a broken foot still. So I couldn't lose weight. And then I had a blood test not too long ago and I got my results back recently, which probably explains why I could never exercise properly. So I have a vitamin B12 deficiency and I sometimes get pains and I get tired really easily. And a lot of the time that's just me thinking I'm lazy, why can't I do this? Why can't I do this? Because I lack vitamin B12 and maybe that's not 100% the thing and I'm not blaming it on that, but that is a part. And it's just nice to know that because now I can work around that. And yeah, so even like simple things like getting my mental health sorted and you know, the little necessities like that, you know, it, you know, put myself into a more positive mind and becoming a better person for it, you know, it has left me to lose a bit more weight. And the last month I haven't been uploading onto YouTube either. And that's because I've been focusing on non-stop working and saving money. So not going out. I'm not going out to eat. Not really. I've been out like once or twice. <laughs> you know, I've, I've completely quit McDonald's. Uh, just focusing on my health, even fizzy drinks, simple things like that. Just doing things to lose weight, which has led to something which I never really did. I'd always hate going topless on camera, which sounds a bit strange, but I feel a bit more comfortable. Like, yeah, I've still got a bit of man boobs, but it's just nice to know that I'm a bit thinner and I'm still big. Don't get me wrong, I'm still big. Still got a bit of fat, but I, I mean, I've got a lot of loose skin on my arms. I got a bit, see, I got like the chicken wing thing going on. That's just a nuisance. Look at that. Ah. But even something as simple as this, being topless on camera, if I ever had a shot where I was topless or changing, I would edit it out so you couldn't even see it. That's how, <laughs> that's how much I've hated being topless. Uh, it sounds really weird, but it is. And it's just nice to know that, yeah, I like, don't get me wrong, I've still got the man boobs, but like, it's just nice to know that I'm a bit thinner. I don't have this overhanging stomach anymore. It used to be like, out here, maybe a bit further. Like, in the nicest sense, at one point I couldn't even see my dick. That's probably an awful thing to say on camera, but it's true. Uh, trust me, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy now. Um, but it's just like those little things. I, I've never got it where I can't see my toes, I don't think. I've never been that but at one point I couldn't even see my dick. And for a bloke, I think that's a pretty big thing. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a pretty big thing. <laughs> so yeah, this is like, it's just a little update video on my channel. I'm not telling you to subscribe. If you want to subscribe, that'd be great because I want to get back into making videos. I haven't been uploading 
this year really because I've been focusing on my weight, I've been focusing on making money, I've got a little bit in savings now which I'm pretty happy about. I'm just focusing on me, focusing on like the mental health stuff, you know, trying to be a bit more me, you know, also dealing with everyone else's bull, bull crap because that's the kind of guy I am, I deal with everyone else's stuff. And yeah, just becoming a bit more happy as a person rather than forcing myself in front of a camera faking a smile and all that, I can actually smile and be like I'm, I'm the size I was when I was in high school I haven't been 12 stone since I was in high school and yes, I'm at the top end of 12 stone but maybe in a month or two I might be at the bottom end of 12 stone or halfway through, I don't know because naturally, unfortunately, I have something called big bones Yeah. I'm not fat, I'm big boned. No, that's a serious thing for me. I physically have big bones, like my wrists are huge. I physically have big bones, which is very unfortunate. So I don't want to look a bit too disproportionate or anything. So if I do struggle with that, then uh, you guys will obviously see that. But I would just like to get rid of the baby fat because I'm in my twenties. I want to be a bit more me. I want to be a bit more adult. And I've been looking in the mirror every day going, I'm looking older, I'm looking older. And I saw a picture of my dad yesterday and I'm like, oh my God, I look like my dad. So. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just becoming a bit happier as a person and being happier as a person means clothes not fitting properly, look at that, 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 look how baggy that is, he used to fit properly. I'm tucking it in now. I tuck my shirts in a lot now because uh, I they're just I don't know. I used to like t-shirts hanging low, you know, but it's at the point where it's this is just a massive towel. It's a bit of fabric now. So in the ultimate wisdom, I'm probably gonna have to be buying some new clothes soon. I probably won't do it yet because I want to lose a bit more weight. So I'd rather see if I can if I'm a medium or a small. I don't know. Like this medium's a bit. Big on me, but I have a medium jumper there. This is my medium jumper. This is a, a lovely jumper. I'm so happy. This is my first expensive clothing purchase, really. The lighting is so out on this camera at the moment, but uh, I'm pretty happy with this jumper. I think it makes me look a bit older in the nicer sense. Um, like, yeah, you can still see my uh, boobs because I do have them. Uh, what can you do? I get bullied a lot in the comments for weight, which is just the thing, but this being my first medium jumper, I think it looks pretty good. I bought it myself, very happy with it, I like it. I'm trying to look a bit more my age and a bit more adult and yeah, just made me need to sort out the hair a bit more now. But overall, this is uh, me now. You know, I might not look thinner to you, I blame the camera or I blame the fact that I'm still fat because I've still got a bit more to lose but it's just nice to know that t-shirts are hanging off me a bit more now <laughs> and it's a healthy way of doing it it's, you know, it, rather than losing weight because of depression which has happened in the past no, this is a more healthy way and uh, yeah I'm feeling a bit more happier you know, I'm, I used to stay away from mirrors which sounds really weird but I, was, I never wanted to look in the mirror going, oh god I'm big but now I just look in the mirror and I'm just like, let's go for a dance. I feel happy, right? I feel a lot more happier recently. A lot more happy with myself, a lot more happy with my body. Like, do you want to see my passport photo? I got a fat face in that. And that wasn't even a year ago. I mean, I've still got a fat face, but I like to have a bit more of a chin rather than chins. I mean, it'd be nice if I could lose my forehead, but haha, <laughs> genetics. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. This is just an update on, hello, I'm Oliver if you are new to this channel. I just feel happier as a person, getting my weight sorted, getting my mental health sorted. And I do have plans for some videos coming up, so until then, I hope this is enough to satisfy your needs, as I've had quite a few people message me going, where are the videos? We miss you. And I feel a bit happy with that. Don't get me wrong. I've also had comments on the channels and this and that, so yes. Thank you for watching this video. I do hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, if you'd like to see another weight update in a month or two, then I'll be like, hello, I'm back and I've put on the stone again. So yes, until next time, adios my miss amigos, and I shall see you in my next video. 
Goodbye. <laughs> Adios. Bye. <laughs> so uh, basically I've been a uh, ooh working out, right? <laughs> I can't. <gasps>